I'm going to step through this kind of slow motion, frame by frame. So I'm going forward here. And you can see, if you, I'm going to go back up. You can see the tail rotor. Because of the shutter speed and the frame rate, um, you don't get a true representation of how the blades are turning. But you can see that they appear to be moving, from our point of view right now, the tail rotor blade in the corner down here appears to be moving counterclockwise. But right here, it stops counterclockwise, starts to turn clockwise. That indicates that the speed, the rotation speed of the tail rotor has changed. And that also coincides with a yaw to the right of the helicopter, the nose of the helicopter. So we can back that up again and take a look at it. Unfortunately, the camera wasn't wide enough to see the tail rotor very well previous to this failure, whatever it was. Right there, it starts to turn. The nose of the helicopter yaws to the right, which makes sense because it's a, you can see the, the blades here from our point of view are clockwise rotating, uh, which under power is going to induce an opposite yaw in the airframe of the helicopter due to the torque of the engine. Um, but let's back up here. So after it makes almost a full turn, something happens to the tail rotor blades. And there's a piece here that starts to depart. And then the, the next frame, here they're on this frame, both tail rotor blades have departed and the main rotor blade has struck one or both of the tail rotor blades, probably one. The other one probably went flinging the opposite direction somewhere else. And as we come around, continue to turn right here, the, the tail rotor assembly and possibly part of or all of the gearbox depart the airframe right there. It strikes the tail, the vertical fin. You can see it leaves some marks there as it had struck it. It departs. You can see it's still spinning. You can see a mist of smoke here. That's probably tail rotor gearbox oil, if I had to guess, that's now spewing from the tail uh, of the aircraft. And now it just continues its spin. You can still see this mist of, of smoke. That's either oil or perhaps smoke from oil burning. But notice the black smoke here coming out of the main uh, engine exhaust. Not sure what that's all about. See it, black smoke coming out right there. There's more of that tail rudder gearbox mist. You can see, and you notice this on other videos, the, what appears to be smoke, it's just like water vapor coming off the tips of the blades. It's just due to the humidity and some other factors. Uh, air is being highly compressed there with the lift of the blades causing that. So that's nothing there. Comes around a look at how much this these this rotor system has articulated there. I'll bet you that has mass bumped right there. It's almost I'm almost positive it's mass bumped. I mean look at this. This is insane that the rotor had hadn't come off at that point. It might be oh look. It did. Holy smokes. Look at right here. The mass bump sheared the rotor head. It departed. It's only being held on what looks like maybe some linkages. That is gone. It's severed. It's just this linkage holding it on. And that and this linkage here at this point are all that's holding that together. Fortunately, it's only about 30 feet from the ground. Boom. Had this happened, now that I'm seeing this, I'm pretty sure that was a mass bump with a main rotor separation right here. Had this happened 50 feet higher, 100 feet higher, I don't know that it would have been survivable. But what I don't understand is what causes, let me back up, what causes the, the tail rotor blades to separate at almost the exact same spot on the blade span? What causes that? One thing I do notice, if I back up here, right after the failure, there is a ton of pitch put into the blades right here. So the blade is at 
at what appears to be the tail rotor blades appear to be at a you know normally pitched position here starts to fail the blade comes around look at how much pitch was put in now is that the pilot putting in pedal because he's starting to spin probably i guess i don't know but it's weird uh, that they separate the tail blades separate at the exact same time at the same point along the span of the blade one of them gets hit by the main blade comes back around i'm going forward by the way there's the fail there's the separation the airframe is so radically different than the rotor plane position, and that's what's going to be causing this mass bumping right here. That rotor blade right there separates. You can see the break in the joint almost right there. And then look, this bent uh, pitch rod, pitch link, it's all that's holding all that together at that time. So yeah, had this happened higher, 100 feet, 200 feet, 1,000 feet, uh, totally unsurvivable, dead for sure. So they got really lucky. Uh, I won't comment on some other videos I saw where they were doing some low, uh, doing a low pass like 20 feet from the side of a hotel balcony with people there. That was maybe a little unnecessary. I guess I will comment on that. But yeah, very strange, very strange. Um, but yeah, I just noticed doing this video that that main rotor did in fact separate and it fortunately happened right when it was hitting the trees.